Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. What I'm going to look at in this session is the next part of the service database series. So we left it last time looking at a couple of reports, if I show you this one. So this is a custom report and I talked about using concatenation to make this look a little bit better. So get rid of that one, customer report. Again, these fields are concatenated and uh, not concatenated or truncated and you would have to spend some serious time sorting this out to get this to sit right and it's not time I would be prepared to use so what I want to do is create or show you how to do concatenation first off so the first place I'm going to do it is in a query so if I just go into this query into design view have a look what we've got here so we've got these two tables and we've got all the fields from both tables and then we're querying it on the invoice number which is a parameter query there now you could create a concatenation in a query you just need to um, create a space in fact i'll just do shift f2 to zoom up so i'll call this just to give you an example heading and then do a colon and then what you need to concatenate you need to use the fields that you want so let's say um, I want customer name so square bracket customer name square bracket now to concatenate you need to use the and sign so now I need to use the and sign because I want a space and the space is indicated with these little quotes a space quote and then another and sign so i call them glue points rather than and sign and then you can you're gluing that to another field so in this case i'll just go for address so you can see it so square bracket address close square bracket spell address right and then that's all i want to do then obviously you can keep going on and on and on but if i click ok to that and then just run this query invoice number one the concatenated field should be at the end so you've got the name and then the address with the spaces so that's what that's doing now if I go back into design so I could create a query from scratch with that information and then that would all either grow or shrink depending on how much information is in there so that's how you do concatenation in a query but in, the, in a report um, I won't save that query you do it like this if I create a, a new report based on this query so create report design get, get the property sheet up so I can ready to look at a query query service details so now if I go for fields there's all the fields that's available and then I do exactly the same now you can bring these fields on so I could go for customer ID or invoice or service ID whichever one I want to do at the top but uh, I just want to show you how to do a concatenation really in this little session making this look nice is something that you would spend a lot of time doing which I don't want to do in this video but what you need is an AB box from this design tab and control so I'll just get myself one of those getting rid of the label don't need the label for this and you can get rid of all the lines and things like that later on you do need to make this box fairly big because if you've got it like that and the formula gets truncated and you've made a mistake it's quite difficult to see where you've made that mistake so make it bigger than perhaps what you need and then the same process applies you type equals and then the first field I want in this case is customer name so I will go square bracket customer name close square bracket glue point little and sign spelt customer name wrong that won't help your little quotes with a space and then another and sign and then you want address now this time I want the the rest of the address so city county and postcode I want so 
now I want this to come down onto a second line so you've got to use your control key and press enter that'll bring it down but I still need an and sign and then I want a space and then you're gonna to have to go back up and have a quick look at see if I see how this sits I want another and sign and then I want city so I'll just do city and then I'll have a look so that looks okay have a look at the view invoice number one okay so it hasn't come down so let's go back into design and play around with that a little bit so if I go in between the quotes and do control and enter so it does come down like that try that again invoice number one now it's come down so that's where you've got to do the control and enter between the, the quotes go back into design so city leads then after that I need an unsign and then a quote and then I can do control and enter and then do the other quote and then the and sign in fact did I do a space there I do a space there uh, and sign now I want county which is in square brackets county square brackets and then I do an and sign quote space control enter quote and postcode we need to and sign there not a seven and sign and the last bit is going to be postcode and then that's all I'll do for this session let's have a quick look close that now again you have a look and see if you need to fix anything invoice number one that's okay now really you could probably bring that address down I will do that actually go back in there this one get your mouse in between those two do control enter bring that down have a look invoice one yep so you've got your customer name we haven't got a title in this database I don't think we have have we no we haven't so normally you would have a title so you would better see that but in this database we haven't got the title but now the way this is looking with concatenation in the report it's all nice and neat remember if I go into the invoice that we previously did you can see it's all sitting like that and in boxes so it's totally up to you you can still create it like this and hide the boxes maybe um, this invoice is not too bad but the customer one is the one that's it's got this sort of stuff where things have been truncated and you can't see it and these are all banging banging into each other they're just the labels but you need to sort that out so concatenation is what I would always do to make the reports nice and tidy but that's all I want to cover on this little session. So on the next session, we'll hopefully have tidied these up and got them working properly. And then we'll look at doing some more analysis, some graphs and some queries to analyze how much we've made over a period of time. But that's it for now. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one.